Happy Monday, everyone. Back to the beginning of another week here. Uh, two quick stories. This episode is sponsored by shortthebanks.com. Check them out. A lot of great products on there. Love the message. Can't over-exaggerate that enough. Uh, first story in the news is Colorado lawmakers seek exploration of blockchain use in agriculture. Lawmakers in the U.S. state of Colorado are eyeing a role for blockchain technology in the agricultural industry. Four representatives and senators from the state jointly filed the bipartisan House Bill 1247 on Friday, proposing that the commissioner of the Department of Agriculture assemble an advisory group to study the potential applications for blockchain technology in agricultural operations. Several blockchain uh, use cases were identified by lawmakers, including improving traceability of products from farm to shelf, controlling inventory and monitoring in-field conditions such as weather and soil quality, maintaining records for production and transportation equipment, verifying data and certification of organic products, tracking and ordering resources such as fertilizer and seed, all using blockchain are also some of the other areas that could be studied by the group. Uh, I think this is going to be uh, huge in the uh, global economy. Uh, the idea of being able to track everything we eat from um, seed to plate. Second story is, um, or at least refrigerator. Second story is uh, Bitcoin's disruptive, disruptive power not lost on uh United Arab Emirates, Banks, Federation, and ABU, Dobby Global Market. This one really warms my heart. The, uh, judging by an article from uh, Emirates News Agency, it seems as, as though the forum was absolutely brimming with enough blockchain and banking-related buzzwords. They had a fintech forum in the uh, United Arab Emirates discussing crypto assets and uh, the changing global financial services sector. Uh, to uh, the, the Arab uh, Emirates News Agency, uh, let's see, to including enough discussion of regulations, compliance, and big data, I had to find where I left off there, machine learning and financial surveillance to make everyone feel like they truly got their money's worth. Also discussed on how, was how uh, financial regulators and banks can collaborate uh, to develop processes and procedures to address regulatory risk in serving market participants operating crypto asset businesses. Despite the fact that Bitcoin, the first and foremost cryptocurrency, was created to eliminate the need for collaboration from regulators and banks. Don't forget that, people. That's why we got in. We started this space, and uh, well, we got into it early. The early adopters, and uh, don't let these centralized big government uh, banking partnerships muddy these waters. This fact is not lost on the forum's participants however as they report claims that fast evolving market dynamics mean that banks, financial institutions as well as financial regulators have an important part to play to diligently monitor and keep abreast of such developments and ensure financial services continue to operate in a robust and trusted way. In an increasingly digital environment, in layman's terms, fi uh, legacy financial institutions want to be, don't want to be rendered useless, which they already have been, they just don't know it yet, or they do, and they're clinging to their last days. Into the market, Bitcoin up, or Bitcoin even today at $4,655. Ethereum down 0.65%, 138.93. Litecoin down 2.89%, $59.64. EOS down 1.05%, $3.74. Bitcoin Cash up 4.82%, $162.22. Bitcoin Cash the big winner in the last seven days. Uh, to Monero up 0.54%, $53.37. Dash up four or uh, down 0.45 percent, ninety-two dollars twelve cents. Neo down two point six two percent, nine dollars nineteen cents. Ethereum Classic down 091 percent, four dollars forty-two cents. Steam sliding a little bit to down two point three two percent in the red today, forty-six cents. And Flash currently up four point zero two percent at point zero zero three nine cents. 
to Bitcoin dominance 50.51% hasn't really moved in the last few days and aggregate market cap 139 billion 931 million 186,000 that is the morning wrap up for and the uh, or the afternoon wrap up today and uh, bring you guys another episode tomorrow lots of stuff going on